hey guys welcome back in this lecture we will learn how to calculate a wind load which is applied on a building according to indian standard code 875 part 3 we have a five floor building and height of each floor is 3 meter which means the total height of your building is 15 meter we have to apply wind load on that structure according to indian standard code 875 part 3 just remember which code is useful to calculate wind load is 875 part 3 okay now look at this it's a code code of practice for design loads other than earthquake for building and structures part 3 wind loads okay part 1 for dead load part 2 for imposed load or live load part 3 for wind load part 4 for snow load and part 5 for special loads and load combinations look at this we have one formula which is vz is equal to vb k1 k2 and k3 where vz is equal to what is vz vz is a design wind speed right vz is a design wind speed what is vb vb is basic wind speed what is k1 k1 is a risk coefficient or risk factor k2 is terrain factor or terrain coefficient what is k3 k3 is a topography factor to calculate design wind speed we have to multiply a basic wind speed to some factors which are risk factors terrain factor and topography factor okay look at this what is the wind speed of your city what is the basic wind speed of your city you have to find out from this table there is one table basic wind speed at 10 meter height for some important cities and towns okay from this table you have to find out a basic wind speed of your city or in which city you are designing your building structure right for the example now i am designing my building at delhi so what is the design wind sorry basic wind speed for delhi 47 meter per second the data is in meter per second right for delhi basic wind speed is 47 meter per second okay what is k1 risk coefficient and the value of k1 we have to take from this table table number one risk coefficient for different classes of a structure in different wind speed zones look at this all general buildings and structures mean probable design life of a structure in years which means if you are designing a building for 50 years life and all general buildings it is a general building okay general structure so for all the wind speeds you have to take one as a risk coefficient which means k1 is equal to one for all general buildings and structures which are designed for 50 years of life if you are designing a structure which is temporary shed structure such as those used during construction which means the temporary sheds which are we are designing or which we are constructing at a site for temporary basis for at least two years three years or five years okay for that you have to take 
k1 value according to this table it depends on your basic wind speed also if your basic wind speed is up to 33 meter per second you have to take this value as 0.82 if your basic wind speed is up to 39 meter per second just take value as 0.76 if your basic wind speed is 44 meter per second take a value as 0.73 and so on up to 55 it's a maximum okay if your building is designing for 25 year life so you have to take all this data for the load calculation right it is also for th up to 33 meter per second you have to take 0 0.94 and so on if your building is important building important means hospital building school building any public tower or power plant structure all these buildings are designed for 100 years 100 year life so you have to take some higher side data for that particular structure right important building means where the life of loss is more just take it important building a school hospital college building public buildings power plants okay in this also up to 33 meter per second basic wind speed you have to take 1.05 as a coefficient or risk coefficient and so on so go to this now you understand what is vb vb is basic wind speed what is k1 k1 is a risk coefficient and the values of k1 depends on its life and the type of structure class of structure okay and from table number one you can take all this data just try to read all the code okay what is k2 k2 is terrain factor and k2 depends on the class of building and category of building what are the categories and what are the class category first firstly uh, we divided it into four categories first category expose open terrain the building is in open areas there is no other structure nearby your building okay or surrounding your building your building is in present in open area so it will come in category one what is category two open terrain with well scattered obstacles having height generally between 1.5 to 10 meters which means surrounding your building there is some structures which are height in height 1.2 to 10 meter okay if this condition is in your building it comes in category 2 category 3 terrain with numerous closely spaced obstacles having the size of building structure up to 10 meter in height there are numerous buildings means the number of buildings are more as compared to category 2 in category 2 there are some buildings but which are far somehow far or more distance from your building okay but in category 3 there are so many buildings and close to your building and height of your uh, height of the obstacles the nearby buildings are 10 meter which are come in category 3 in category 4 terrain with numerous large high closely spaced obstacles means more than 10 meter and closely obstacles the crowded areas okay which are the crowded areas or there are so many buildings and close to each other and the height of your the building surrounding buildings are more than 10 meter so it will come in category 4 right now what are the class just go to the, go to this table look at this table number 2 k2 factor in this column it shows the height 
of your structure then parent categories and some class abc class abc class abc in all the categories okay classes depend on size of your structure if height is height of your structure is less than 20 meter it will come in class a if the height of your structure is in between 20 to 50 meter it will come in class b if the height of your structure is more than 50 meter it will come in class c okay once again if height of your structure is less than 20 meter it will come in class a if height of your structure is in between 20 to 50 meter it will come in class b if height of your structure is more than 50 meters it will come in class c all right so from this this table we have to take this data if your building is in category 3 which is surrounded by some buildings up to 10 meter height and not and somehow close okay and the height of your structure is 15 meter then what is k2 k2 is 0 0.97 for 15 meter height because your building height is 15 meter so it will come in class a right and the terrain category is class 3 because your building is surrounded by some buildings which are height up to 10 meter for k3 factor k3 is topographical factor right for all other general topography or plane topography we take k3 is equal to 1 and for the hilly areas k3 will change for the hills and valleys k3 will change look at this topography factor k3 so if your building is present or constructed in a hilly areas you have to calculate k3 from this formula okay just read it and for general terrain general plane terrain or topography you have to take it one now look at this there is one example we have a building structure height of your building is 15 meter and the data which is present for k2 is from 10 meter okay 10 meter 15 meter 20 30 50 so for less than 10 meter we will not calculate wind speed or just take up for 10 meter if your building height is 9 meter 8 meter just you have to calculate for 10 meter okay and our basic wind speed is also for 10 meter height otherwise no need to apply any wind load if your building height is less than 10 meter basic wind speed at 10 meter height for some important cities so more than 10 meter you have to calculate it look at this we have a building height of 15 meter and for example i am taking a terrain category is 3 and class is a because height is 15 meter wind load we use code 815 part 3 and vz is equal to design wind speed and pz is equal to design wind pressure what is pz design wind pressure in code you will find out this all these formulas just try to find out it where it is look at this there is a design wind pressure pz is equal to 0 0.6 vz square so pz is equal to 0 0.6 vz square okay and you have to calculate this data for some segments also because the value of k2 is changed for each and every height and the wind pressure will also change according to this height okay if you are in 10 meter height wind pressure is somehow less if you are in 15 meter height wind pressure will increase if you are in 20 meter height wind pressure wind pressure will also increase okay 
so just you need to calculate this for each and every one meter segment or two meter segment or three meter segment if you want a better results and accurate results just calculate for every one meter okay in this example i am calculating for 15 meter height 12 meter height and 10 meter height right look at this just make a table height is equal to 15 meter 12 meter and 10 meter find out the k2 value for this example i am taking k1 is equal to 1 and k3 is equal to also 1 right just i have to calculate or find out k2 for 15 meter look at the table for 15 meter height terrain category 3 and class a k2 is 0 0.97 0 0.97 just multiply all their things pv is equal to 47 for delhi 47 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 0 0.97 multiplied by 1 it will come 45.59 right and pz is equal to 0 0.6 pz square so square this parameter and multiply by 0 0.6 it will come 1247 newton per meter square and for the software because we take force unit is kilo newton okay for our calculations and all the input data so just divide it by thousand it will come 1.247 kilo newton per meter square right for 12 meter height also just interpolate the data of 15 and 10 you will find out at 12 meter height k2 at 12 meter height okay just interpolate between 10 and 15 you will find out a data for 12 meter use linear interpolation and you can use the linear interpolation calculator also if you put data in calculator it will come ar around 0 0.934 as k2 value for 12 meter height just put the k2 value in this formula you will find out 43.898 if you multiply with 0 0.6 and square it it will come 1156 newton per meter square and in kilo newton per meter square it is 1.156 for uh, 10 meter the k2 value is 0 0.91 look at this for 10 meter 0 0.91 so put the data as k2 is equal to 0 0.91 and multiply it it will come 42.77 and square this data and multiply with 0 0.6 it will come 1097 newton per meter square okay so if you divide it by thousand it will come uh, it is 1.097 kilo newton per meter square right this is the wind pressure design wind pressure these data we have to provide to software for the calculation okay in next lecture we will see how this data work in strat pro software this is this lecture is all about how to calculate this data how to understand this data in next lecture we will learn how to put these data in stat pro software and analyze the structure thanks for watching this